Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 5th. So, you know, the timing is fluid, right? So, remember, there are no clocks. There are no clocks in divine timing. We're going to get one of these. We're going to get one of these, and we're going to use this deck right here. We're just going to see what comes up. This reading may or may not be for you. It's going to be for somebody. I don't know who. Ace of Wands reversed. Uh-oh. Something is going south. The passion. The passion could be dying or the passion could be going south or something may not be growing the way that it should. Something hasn't materialized or somebody has been weighed down by a circumstance. It's like the spark is going out or the fire is going out. Something is being put out. I guess we're going to have to get another deck, huh? Because I don't think I want to get two of these. I don't know why I flipped. Um, it's all right. I'll grab another one. Soulmate. It could be a soulmate connection that's going south. It did come out reverse, but we don't You really use oracle cards in reverse. So there could be, you know, this is a soulmate connection. But the connection could be going south. Who knows? Oh, God. I really don't want to go use two of these cards, but give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So somebody probably needs to work on their partnership because something is happening. Not in a good way. And we're going to get one of these. There's lack of growth, and because there's no growth, something is, you know, the fire is going out, you know? It's not being fueled, it's not being taken care of. The connection isn't being <laughs> nurtured, perhaps. I don't know, I'm flipping again, I can't stop myself from doing it. Ooh, the thinking man. Oh, that fits, doesn't it? So we do, we have a man that is thinking. He's thinking, 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 thinking about what he has to offer, what he wants to offer, what he has, what he, where he wants to go, what he wants to do. You know, so yeah, we have a man that is really thinking about his options. Definitely adjacent possibilities. He is, he's thinking about his options, what he should do. About this connection that is going in the wrong direction okay we have a we have something that is not going in the right direction put it that way hmm well now he there's an opportunity to you know go down a new path right now as we speak Somebody is really being tested. They are really being tested. Tested from above. This guy is a planner, obviously. We have somebody that, you know, wants to make sure that they're making the right decision. This is a planner. This is somebody who, you know, is very solid, very practical, very methodical. Um, he's in the process of making a decision. This is a decision. It's a choice. Do I, do I stay stuck in the past or do I, do I take my passion Right here, it's the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Wands. Do I take what I have? Do I take this opportunity, this passionate, new, exciting opportunity and move forward? So yeah, we have this guy that is really thinking about the trying to do the right thing. Absolutely, this is a man of integrity. So we have some a man that is really trying to do the right thing. He's thinking about his future, where he wants to go, what he wants to do. He knows that the minute he steps over the edge, it's over. It's over. So he knows that. He's a wise man. 
Oh, we have this independent person who is very self-sufficient and can take care of business on their own. This is a person who knows their worth. This is somebody who knows their value and will settle for nothing less than somebody who is going to bring value to the table. And he probably knows that too. Ooh, now we got this tug of war. It is a tug of war. Back and forth, back and forth. Which way do I go? What do I do? Do I keep holding on or do I let go? What do I do? So yeah, somebody is absolutely going back and forth with their decision as to whether they want to move forward or not, whether they want to really step over that edge. You know, because we have this person here that, you know, has a lot to offer. This person has worked hard to pick themselves up and get to where they are. This is a very valuable individual. And this is the Four of Cups reverse. This could be, this is typically in reverse, you know, accepting the offer. This, I mean, the Four of Cups in reverse is accepting it. It's accepting love. Hmm. Seeing the opportunity for love. So it looks like, you know, some they can see it. They can see that there's an opportunity for love here. Mm. Somebody has been in limbo. They've been stuck hanging on to something. I mean, the hangman hangs on to something that... It's almost like trying to prove something. We got somebody here that may be trying to prove a point, maybe trying to... Um, resisting change. This guy is maybe afraid of change, you know? Um, this is also the master of non-attachment. So we could have a, somebody, looks like it's a male to me, that may be resisting change, you know, staying in a state of suspension because of fear, because of, you know, not wanting to change anything, not not fear of the unknown, perhaps. Um, this guy is going through a period of enlightenment, though. This is unjust. This justice is... Uh, an injustice. There's an injustice. There's been some unfair treatment. This is unfair treatment. There's been, there could have been a lack of integrity or a lack of truth. Somebody may not have been telling the truth as to why they've been in suspension or something like that or why they've been holding on so long. There could have, they could have been hiding the truth. Um, let me make sure that this is focused. I'm not going to keep this tablecloth. There's too many colors. I don't think I like it. Can't, it takes away from the cards, I think. <laughs> well, um, I'm just going to get the rest of the cards. So, stuck. We do definitely have somebody that is stuck, stuck in their own thoughts. This is trapped. This is this is uh, mental conflict. We have this is definitely we have somebody that is experiencing a lot of mental conflict. And you know what this is about. Stepping outside of your comfort zone. Somebody is is fearful of stepping outside of their comfort zone. It's it's safe. It's safe right here. Yeah, it, it may not be the best situation, but at least it's safe. So there's definitely a strong desire, a strong attraction um, to this individual who knows their worth. This person that is very self-sufficient and abundant. There's definitely a strong desire, attraction, uh, magnetism that is pulling, like pulling these two people together. Um, hmm. Oh God. So that, see, the, the connection is going south, but at the end of this, it looks like it's going to get, the, the, the fire is going to be relit. Um, because this is accepting the offer, is seeing that you know, accepting the uh, new beginning. So, yeah, it's too attractive. I mean, it's it's such an attractive opportunity. You know, the opportunity is so alluring. Okay, so we have an, a, 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 a a magnetic pull. Somebody is being pulled to go after what they truly desire. So that's what we got going on here. Um, I'm just looking at these cards for a second. 
I feel as though we have somebody here that is becoming enlightened perhaps through solitude. They are becoming enlightened that, you know, perhaps it's the most practical thing to do is to, you know, this is make the decision. Somebody is at that crossroads and they're not happy. Like there's a lack of contentment where they've been and it's like they're ready. They're ready to step over the edge. But that fear of the unknown is so big and you know, somebody hasn't been telling the truth about their fears. You know, they haven't been. The justice reversed. There's been a lack of truth. And things have been unbalanced and unharmonious because of uh, basically the fear, you know. Anyway, looks to me as though we have a, a strong desire to... <laughs> It feels like we this this is this this is desires. This is desires. It's uh tempted. Very, very tempted. We have somebody here that is very tempted to go. I mean this is this is a very abundant offer. This person is really I mean, this person is ready. Ready. This person has done their work. They are ready. We could have a Queen of Cups and reversed in the in the in the mix. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person is not offering love. I'm not. I'm, I mean, this is somebody who is not available for love. There's no love here. Okay. This person is unable to love at this time, or doesn't can't offer love, or has closed down. There's is this is a withdrawal of love. So I'm not sure what who this is or who it is in the mix, but this person is very. Well, at this time, in this state, and this could be anybody, it could be any sign, this person is emotionally unavailable. There's nothing, the cup is empty, there's nothing in the cup. You can't, I mean, the cup is, it's, there's nothing in that cup. There's no love there, there's no reciprocation there. This person is thinking about, you know, this is lack of finality. You know, you have to step over. Somebody needs to step over. Ooh. But he's looking away. He is looking away. He's thinking about, you know, the old, the opportunity that he has been presented. The opportunity that he has to offer as well. This guy is very stable. He is very structured. He is very organized. He is a hard worker. And he's trying to tame his desires. He's trying to keep things stable and secure. He's trying to be practical and responsible. Page of Pentacles reverse. This is a person that doesn't have the moral backbone to do the right thing. Can't doesn't have any moral backbones. Can't or not saying that he doesn't have any moral backbones. Like he's he may not be thinking clearly. He may be getting distracted easily. We could have somebody that is getting distracted by their own thoughts, their own demons. You know, their own ego and pride. The devil is hit is ruled by ego. It is. So somebody could be getting distracted. This is a distraction. Somebody is getting distracted by... They could also be getting distracted by other little things. You know, not following through. Somebody hasn't been following through. Getting thrown off course. Very indecisive. Somebody has been protecting themselves. They've been blocking. They've been ignoring their true feelings. Oh my. So yeah, we have somebody here that has been avoiding, they've been avoiding their feelings, they've been avoiding this desire, they've been avoiding their, <clears throat> it's like avoiding the truth here, this is avoiding the truth. So yeah, we have somebody that has been protecting themselves from something. Oh my God! It's facing. It's like it's really hard to face the fears here. It really is. It is. There's probably some stalking going on, you know, or 
you know, watching from afar, watching from behind the scenes. Somebody may not be liking what they see. There could be some jealousy. There could be some children in the mix that are causing problems. You know, there's, there, there could be. I mean, I have to be honest. Yeah, these are children. Or it doesn't have to be children. It can be adults that act like children. So we, we, we have some people here that are causing conflicts for the whole situation. Could be the two people that are involved. There's definitely, it's almost like there's a battle here back and forth. Um, there's, there's, a, uh, there's miscommunication. There is miscommunication, there's, um, or lack thereof communication, or hurtful communication, or dishonest communication, or no communication, there, there's problems. <laughs> there is problems. There's problems because somebody is letting their ego get in the way, they're, they're, they are, again, and it's, it's causing, it's almost like conflicts. There's conflicts here. Somebody is needing to step over that finish line. Okay, this is needing to finalize a situation where there's no love, whatever, and step over, step over that edge into the unknown. So we have this person here that is really trying to do the right thing, but just doesn't have the backbone or the focus to do so. They can't, they just, they just can't do it. This person has manifested a big opportunity. He has. He's manifested something big. And now he has a, a big opportunity here. But this is blocking. This is blocking love. Blocking passion. So somebody has been blocking a new beginning. Somebody has been blocking a passionate new beginning in love. Because of their own thoughts. Because of they're afraid to step out of their comfort zone. They keep on going back and forth. And, and then we have this other person who is suspicious and jealous and um, stubborn. Definitely a perfect match. And she may be taking her offer and away. Okay? Because, you know, it's like she's... she's No. Mm -mm. She's not apologizing. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, these people could be acting like children. Seriously. So, this is blocked. Somebody may have been blocked. And this is going back and forth. There's some watching going on behind the scenes, you know, there is. It's like there's, there's some kind of uh, observation from afar. So, there is. Um, Queen of Pentacles reverse. She's she's taking it back. She is. She's taking it back. She's like, no. She's not happy, put it that way. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse is stubborn as all get out. She is stubborn as all get out. But, you know, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, she may not she may not know her value. She's in reversed. He knows his value. Okay, he knows his value, but this one in reversed. Oh, my God. She's releasing. Okay, she's releasing. She is. She's not going to hold on to this. Ten of Wands reversed. She's not. She's not. She's, she's, she's not going to hold on to this. Not going to carry this with me. That's what this is. Ten of Wands reversed. So we have somebody here that is deciding to basically to take their offer back. If you don't value me. I think she does know her value. I mean, she is the queen of pentacles after all. So you're going to keep going back and forth, back and forth, because this is back and forth, back and forth. I'm going to drop it. Because it hurts too much to hold on to it. So it does feel as though we have somebody that is being told to go with their gut and break free from a hurtful situation. Go with your gut. There's, somebody's been told, okay, this is a high priestess, this is upright, thank God. They've heard. The message has been heard. So 
things. I gotta drop this. I gotta got. I gotta. I gotta drop this. It's it's too heavy for me to carry. It's too painful. It's too it's too painful. It's too painful. So we have somebody here that is deciding to drop out of the tug of war. Drop out of the tug of war because. I want love. But this is a passionate new beginning. This is a this is. I mean the ace of wands is a passionate new start. A new spark, a new drive, a new partner. Just go for it. Just go for it. So let's let's clarify this card. Oh, I look at where I put it right in the middle of them. Son of a gun. Yeah, she's got a new a new vision. We got this person that has a new vision. He sees it too, though. Yeah, somebody is finding their strength to basically gracefully drop out. Gracefully drop out of this game. So, yeah, that's what we got here. That is what we got here. I think we have somebody that is deciding that this hurts too much, I gotta let it go. Um, this is a new passionate beginning. If you are single, if you are single and you're you're really, really single, I don't know who this is for, there is an opportunity for a, a new partner to come into your life suddenly. This is suddenly. Out of the blue. Okay? So this person could have been watching you. They could have been watching you and waiting for that moment. Waiting for that moment to approach you. So I don't know who this is for. But there is definitely a soulmate connection with the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. There is. Um, there's a strong desire to act on it. There is. I think we have somebody here that knows their worth. Obviously, that's what that is. This one knows her worth, and so she's taking her off her back. She's taking her off her back because this hurts too much to hold on to. I can't keep going back and forth playing this game. So that's what I got here. We got this thinking man that sees the whole thing. He sees it happening. He does. He's probably not happy about it, but he may not have the backbone to communicate to speak up to do anything about it or he just is too fearful okay he's definitely somebody is fearful of the unknown they're fearful to step outside of their comfort zone seriously they may have been in a contract where they didn't get loved i gotta be honest with you this is a contract a false contract a karmic contract where they didn't get loved and now there's who knows but this is get stuck in limbo. Resisting change. Maybe they're fearful that, you know, they won't be loved this time. I don't know. But anyway, we do have a soulmate connection here in which there is an opportunity to rekindle the flame. That's what this is. The, the flame is going out, but you can relight that fire. So there is an opportunity to rekindle the flame if... Somebody can, this is indecisive, and these. this is decide, and the two of swords is decide, if they can decide to face their fears. So, and this is face your fears. You've got to, if you look up the strength card, the strength card is where somebody finds the ability to face their fears. You find the strength to face your fears. That's what the card means. So somebody may find the strength to face their fears because somebody has dropped out of this tug of war game. So are they gonna, are they, uh, where are we at for time? Or are they going to make a move? Ooh, there could be some good news coming in. There could be some good news. There could be a message coming in. There could be a new suitor entering your life. Somebody brand new, okay? This could be somebody entering your life. This is somebody that is younger than you. This is this is an exciting opportunity to start over, to, to seriously, to start on a new path. So somebody may be receiving a message that really excites them and basically that can light that fire, that relights that fire. It just, it's back on. No, I don't know. 
I don't know if that is for you or who it's for. Um, good luck.